Hi there. If we haven't yet met, my name is Lauren. It's no secret that yoga helps us to deal with the stress of life. This class is a supercharged stress reliever. I encourage you to use any or all of these techniques during your day to help ward off any feelings of frustration or anxiety. We will use a block today, so please take the time now to grab one. If you don't have a block, that's fine. You could use a book or a container, just something that is sort of a similar rectangular shape and quite sturdy. We will start in a comfortable seat. You can choose whether it is cross-legged, kneeling or in a chair. If you're on the floor, it might feel good to pop a block under your sit bones. And once you've arrived, flick the eyes closed and tune into the breath. I'd like to share with you a breathing practice that I love to use when I'm feeling anxious or worried. It helps quieten down all the thoughts bouncing around in my head. It's called the humming bee breath, which you're about to learn why it gets its name. We bring our hands to our ears and using the thumb, press gently on the little flap at the opening of the ears. The fingers can rest on the forehead, or if it feels good, gently covering the eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And then as you exhale through the nose, make a humming sound. This completes one round. Please join me for 10 rounds. Finding a deep inhale and exhale. Mm. Inhale. And exhale. Mm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, mm. inhale, and exhale. Mm. Continue this practice for the next five rounds in the timing of your own breath, just moving at your own pace. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. After you've completed your last round, come back to your natural breath. Gently open the eyes. Tuck your chin to the chest. Begin to roll your head back and around in one direction. And then the other. And coming back to a neutral position. We'll start warming up the body with some Sufi rolls. So leaning the torso slightly forward, then bring the left shoulder to the left knee and circle the upper body back and around. So moving in a clockwise direction. And then changing the direction, this time moving in an anti-clockwise direction. And then coming back to center, find a deep yogi squat by bringing the feet out about the mat width apart. Your toes can be pointed out slightly. Hands come out onto the ground in front of you. As you inhale, straighten through the legs, finding a forward fold. And as you exhale, come back down to your squat. Inhale, the hips rise. And as you exhale, the hips come back down to the mat. Inhale, straightening through the legs and this time begin to roll the upper body up nice and slowly so that the head is the last to arrive, binding Tadasana. I'd like to share with you a Qigong shaking practice which is often used in the Chinese culture. Essentially what it is, is that you shake your body around and you reduce stress by losing yourself in the movement, shaking off what you don't need. This practice also moves chi around the body. For those of you that don't know, chi is really similar to prana or blood, depending on what your beliefs are. So we'll start with the feet hip width apart, just taking a moment to release any tension in your body. We'll begin by shaking the left arm, letting your hand and wrist be floppy, your elbows nice and loose, and even finding a little bit of movement from your shoulder. Then slowly let this shaking come to a stop. And this time we'll bring the left foot slightly off the ground and start shaking through our left leg. The toes and the foot are limp, getting quite a bit of movement through that left ankle. The knee is loose, finding the knee bending and straightening as you make this movement feeling some movement in the hip as well. And then letting the shaking slowly stop, bringing the left foot back to the floor. Pick up the right foot and begin the shaking through the right leg. 
You're almost kicking the foot forward and back gently. Allowing yourself to be lost in the movement. And then begin to let go of the shaking, eventually finding stillness in that right leg once more, planting the foot back onto the mat. Then beginning to shake the right arm. Hand is nice and floppy. It's okay to hear some clicks every now and then in this practice. For myself, my wrists and my knees love a good crack. And this is okay. If you are feeling any pain though, I just encourage you to slow down the motion, make them smaller or perhaps just stop altogether. And then allow the right arm to find stillness. We'll now shake the whole body at once. So the way we do this is we start with the arms and let this movement be contagious throughout the body, the shoulders, the upper body, the neck might even slightly go and then begin to slowly bend and straighten the knees, coming onto the balls of the feet here. The heels may gently touch the ground but it's okay if they don't, you can stay on the balls. Just making sure that you're not jamming your heels into the ground. Just begin to shake in any way that feels good for you. You might like to speed up the movement. And then very slowly begin to reduce the movement, making your way towards stillness. And then just taking a moment here in the stillness to check in and see how your body feels. And then fold forward over your legs. Hands can come to the shins or the ankles. Perhaps the fingertips rest on the floor. You might like to take hold of opposite elbows here. Perhaps rocking from side to side. And then bring your hands onto the mat. Feet can come wider here and bend into the knees as much as you need. Just lowering the hips down to the ground. Lingering here for a moment in this yogi squat. And then using the hands to support you, come down to sit on your bottom bringing your legs out long in front of you. Thinking about head to knee pose, bend the right knee and place the sole of the foot against the inside of the left thigh. If you feel your back rounding here, I invite you to sit up on a block. It just helps to create some more space in your spine by tilting your pelvis forward. As you inhale, reach the hands up to the sky, crown of the head also reaching up. And as you exhale, fold over that left leg, making sure that you're only bending from your hips and not your spine. Your back should be nice and straight here. 
and you're reaching your chest towards your toes. Toes are flexed back towards the face. As you inhale, find some extra length. And as you exhale, coming a bit deeper into the pose. It's okay for your hands to be on the thigh or the shin. Just finding some relaxation here rather than pulling yourself into the pose. On your next inhale, slowly bring your torso up. And we'll move on to the other side. So this time the right leg comes out long. The left knee is bent and the left sole of the foot comes onto the right thigh. As you inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky, lengthening through the spine. And as you exhale, folding forward from the hips. Only coming as far as your body lets you. Using the breath to help you melt into this shape. On your next inhale, slowly rolling through the spine to find a seated position. This time bring both legs out long. The hands or the fingertips come onto the mat. Press into the hands as you reach the crown of the head up to the sky. On your next exhale, using your hands, come down onto your back. We'll now use the block, so grab it from wherever it is and place it on your mat so that it's the long edge of the block is parallel to the short edge of your mat. And you want to position it so that when you are flat on your back, it sits right underneath your shoulder blades. And once you're all set up, bring your arms out a little bit wide, finding supported fish. Letting the top of the head rest on the mat. This pose is thought to be a wonderful way to release emotions and allow you to move on with your day, no longer dwelling on these negative feelings. On each exhale, just feeling your body melt around that block just a little bit more. And then using your hands to help you lift your shoulders off the block and just remove it to the side bringing the torso back down to the mat, finding Shavasana. Please join me in three deep clearing breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale And exhale. Completing one more in the timing of your own breath. And relax. 
You can stay here in Shavasana for as long as you like. If you are short on time, please just stay here for 10 slow, deep breaths. If you enjoyed this class, I invite you to try both the Encourage Energy and Manage Menstruation sequences. They are really gentle practices to help you release tension and stress. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.